If you or a loved one are struggling with type 2 diabetes, you should visit the link in the description below. This clinically proven drug-free program lowers blood sugar to a normal level and can completely reverse type 2 diabetes within just a few weeks. Here's today's video. The question, what are the symptoms of diabetes in a child? Answer by Michael Johnson. Wow, that's a tricky one since a child cannot verbalize many of the physical symptoms. And it depends if we're talking about type I diabetes or type 2. Of course, one way, fastest slash easiest, is to go to the local drugstore and purchase a blood glucose monitoring kit, and actually test the results daily over a period of time. If the results are consistently high, 100 plus, then take your child to your doctor and get blood work ASAP and consult with your GP on the next steps. Physically, if your child is urine, eating more than usual, that could be a sign. And depending on the age, if they are overweight for their age, that could be an indicator. The most foolproof way is to get blood work done and see if their 3 month average blood glucose levels are in range. This is called an A1C test and it tests to see what their average level is over a period of time. We all have spikes, but on average this test is very useful. If they are type 1, it's even more important to get to your GP and get blood work done, ASAP. Answer by Nancy Davis My daughter developed type 1 diabetes when she was 10. She had been losing weight which I attributed to her riding her new bicycle which she had gotten 3 months earlier. She began to complain of blurry vision which was due to her raising blood sugar which causes increased pressure in the A.S. I noticed that she was drinking a lot but I blamed it on the summer weather. She also had bad breath, her breath smelled like acidone which is another way the body tries to get rid of waste when it is drowning is waste product. I did not know that she was getting up at night urinating. Luckily for her she had a grandmother, my mother. That was a registered nurse and I had sent my daughter to Arizona, we were living in Oregon at the time, to visit and she diagnosed her almost as soon as Michelle got there. But thanks to my mom Michelle got admitted to hospital before she slipped into a coma, which is what usually happens to most children. That was 33 years ago and Michelle is well and healthy and disciplined in her care of herself. If anyone shows these symptoms they should get their blood sugar levels checked and see a doctor immediately.